Hello indie game fans, with the impending release of Song of Iron, I thought we'll take a look at the top 10 upcoming action platformers that I'm most excited about, in line with similar videos on Metroidvanias and games like Zelda just published recently. Special mention does also go to They Always Run, where you play as a 3 armed bounty hunter which I did cover recently when talking about the PC gaming show, so do give that a watch if you have not. Let's begin with Sanabi the Revenant, a cyberpunk pixel art entry that simply looks wonderful. You play as a retired veteran, called upon to hunt down a mysterious entity known as Sanabi in order to take down the corrupt megacorp that runs the city. One of the key highlights is that our hero has a prosthetic arm that he can use as a grappling hook and in combat, which does result in some sweet looking action and traversal. You do also meet a hacker and her droid, who will aid you on your quest, adding another layer to this game. The pixel art environments are wonderful, showing off both the dystopian city and some natural landscapes in this trailer, with a tremendous amount of details in larger enemies. I previously commented that this looks like Sekiro crossed with Katana Zero and I stand by it, but let me know if you agree in the comments below. A title that has consistently got my attention is the hand-drawn entry Charge Blade Hero, one that impresses with the vibrant art and amount of details in the environment. It's a story of gods and heroes as you fight to end the war against a seemingly invincible enemy, when in addition to attacking and dodging, you need to charge up your weapon to maintain its durability as you face off against wave after wave of enemies. An equipment and blessing system adds depth to the title, but the unfortunate news is that I think it was previously stated for this year but has since gotten pushed to 2022. I fell in love with the look of The Legend of Tintin when I came to know of it, where this cell shaded entry is based on a Taiwanese folk hero that was like Robin Hood in colonial Japanese Taiwan in the early 20th century. Fight against the oppressors and the corrupt officials by robbing the rich and giving to the poor, where it does come to us from a Taiwanese developer as well, and it's always pleasant when developers show off their culture in games, showing how indie games are truly a global phenomenon. Like Fist, Forge and Shadow Torch covered in the upcoming Metroidvania games video, Anno Mutationum is a product of Sony's China Hero Project, where this pixel art cyberpunk title that mixes 2 and 3D did get the attention of many when it was revealed. It did get a sleek new trailer, which showed off more enemies and pixel art, where you play as a lone wolf agent on a personal mission in this giant metropolis ruled by mega corporations. Like Sanabi mentioned earlier, you do have a trusty hacker to support you, but there are some bizarre creatures lurking in the dark where SCP-682 does feature prominently, making it an interesting mishmash of ideas. If you love cyberpunk titles, smack the like button and perhaps I'll have a couple more for you down the line. In hindsight, I realised that these videos do have at least one long in development Kickstarter title that could very well be Vaporware, where Okinawa Rush is the example here, being kickstarted in 2017, but in the grand scheme of things, 4 years really isn't all that long. It's a pixel art martial arts brawler with 3 playable characters as they face off against the Black Mantis clan. I'm most interested in their custom-made fighting engine with unique moves for each character, a parry system and more, looking like it's one part fighting game and one part side-scroller. 
The developers have narrowed it down to Q3 this year, so that leaves them 2 months or so to put it out, and while I'm not rushing them, I cannot wait to check it out. One of the more recent reviews is Tracked to Yomi, a stunning black and white samurai title where you're on a journey of life and death. Stunning action and sleek visuals which has to be Kurosawa inspired makes it a must get for next year. I've been looking forward to Steel Assault for quite a while, since this is another impressive looking long in development title that is a must play. Looking back, it was kickstarted in 2015, so that's even longer than Okinawa Rush, where you play as a resistant soldier fighting a power-hungry dictator. The ability to throw out a zip line looks interesting, used in both platforming and combat, with some fantastic looking giant bosses and mechanical monstrosities. They have signed with Tribute Games as a publisher, who you might know from Flint Hook and Panzer Paladin, where based on the quality of those games, I'm sure that they saw something special in this game as well. The no-brainer pick of the video has to be Bushiden, another frequent appearance on the channel but I simply cannot help myself since the pixel art in this looks so sleek and so good. Like Cyber Shadow released earlier this year, it's a ninja themed entry but with robotic enemies, we are trying to stop an evil villain and his cyber genetic army. Despite what you may have been told, this is not a metroidvania, having a level based structure but with the ability to revisit levels, where the action and pixel art looks fantastic, making it a must play if you love this genre, so look out for it later this year. Long-time subscribers to the channel will be familiar with Flynn Son of Crimson, a long, long anticipated title of mine at least since 2018, where this kept getting pushed and delayed where I do have news on this project. One of the notable changes in the description is that this is now structured as an action platformer complete with world map as compared to the earlier description of being a metroidvania where it certainly has changed quite a bit in development. Play as an orphan who must awaken the power of crimson within him to save the world where you do have a number of allies including your pet wolf dog by your side. There are some progression elements shown through a skill tree and multiple weapons to choose from, as well as what looks like some sort of currency in the red gems, which should be used in the upgrade system. As of July 19th, development is complete on the project and porting work has begun, where the developers are promising to review the release date very soon, so hopefully it will make it out this year.
And of course, me being me, the Cyberpunk title Replaced Gets Top Billing, a 2.5D pixel art action platformer revealed during the Xbox showcase at E3 this year. The amazing pixel art and use of lighting is the most impressive part and the action comes in a close second. Set in an alternate 1980s, in the wake of a catastrophic nuclear event, play as an AI unwillingly trapped in a human body and having to find a way to survive in this world. It's not all neon signs and robots like The Ascent released last month, having more of a grounded feel with what looks like soldiers or the police as your main enemies, but for how great this looks, it takes the number one spot. For a look at upcoming pixel art games, watch these videos and I will see you after the jump.